Hey there, me again. So if any of you guys have been watching any of the videos I've been making, you'll know that I've gone down the film photography rabbit hole for the last couple of years, and in all of that time, I haven't really printed any of my new photos that I've made. So I figured that would make a pretty interesting video for today, is if I took one of my photos that I took in Joshua Tree National Park, got it printed at three different places, and compared the results. So which services did I use to print my photos? Well, I went with three. I thought three would be a good number for this kind of test, and I really didn't want to have a million different photos of the same thing. So I went with three, and the three I chose were Mpix, Printique, which is Adorama's printing service, and Darkroom Tech, or Darkroom Technologies. So before we talk about the quality of the prints, let's talk about the way they were packaged and delivered to me so that you guys can kind of see the differences in packaging and maybe pick the service that you think will be the most secure. So the best packaging by far was Printique. The print itself came in a cardboard box and the box had two pieces of uh, cardboard that were put on each side and there was a piece of kind of foam padding in between the cardboard. So the print was very well protected. There were no bends, no nothing. Everything was taped together very nicely and it was really secure. Um, the other two services I think did pretty much the same in terms of their packaging quality. Um, Mpix came in kind of a white, kind of maybe, I don't know, uh, waxy textured sort of cardboard packaging and it had one piece of cardboard reinforcement inside the packaging and Darkroom Tech maybe did a tiny bit better because they had the same kind of outer packaging but with two pieces of cardboard. So um, yeah, I think they're all pretty secure. I don't think you really have to worry about any of them, but Printique's was by far the best packaging. In terms of delivery speed, all of these prints got here within a week, um, but Mpix was by far the fastest for me, probably because I live in Kansas and Mpix is based in Pittsburgh, Kansas, so it's not very far for it to go. Um, I literally got the print the next day, so super fast shipping, and I was really pleased with that. But all of these services, you'll probably get your photos within a week if you live in the US. So let's talk about image sharpness. Now we're really going to be splitting hairs here with this comparison. Um, but I think the winner, just by a tiny, tiny margin, is Printique. I think there's a tiny bit more detail, um, but really all of the prints had fine detail. I'd be happy with any of them. And to see any difference, you would have to really, really be looking closely and have a side-by-side -side comparison. But considering this is only a 35mm scan from an Epson V600, uh, I think the quality was pretty good on all of them. So probably the most noticeable difference between these prints was with color um, and color accuracy. Um, I think there's a couple different categories where a couple of these different prints sort of thrive. Uh, in terms of strictly accurate colors, I think Darkroom Tech did the best um, with this particular print. I only did one photo, so I can't really make a definitive conclusion about this. But from the print I made, Darkroom Text was definitely the most color accurate when I compared it to the file that was on my computer. Honestly, I think the most pleasing colors and the way the colors transitioned and rolled off, like in the sky, um, I think Printique did the best job. I think there was the best color roll off in the kind of flat areas, like in the sky, and the areas where there was a lot of contrast. I think the colors really kind of blended together naturally. Uh, Mpix, I think it was fine. It just wasn't quite as color accurate um, or quite as, I guess, pleasing when I compared it side by side with the other ones. But honestly, the results are just fine, I would think, for most people's purposes. So since we talked about color, let's talk about the papers that the different printers used. 
Um, I'm not sure if there's different options, but I ordered luster paper from each of these so that I could try and get the most similar results. And I think the luster finish on all of these prints is exactly the same. I think there's the same amount of sheen, the same amount of reflectiveness on all of these, and that's not much of a difference. Um, but in terms of the types of paper they used, um, Printique used a Fuji paper, uh, Darkroom Tech used Kodak paper, and MPix used an unbranded paper. So I'm not really sure if it was Ilford or some other manufacturer, but the only two that were actually named were Printique and Darkroom. Another detail about the papers, um, the Fuji and Kodak seem to be relatively similar in terms of weight and rigidity, um, and the MPEX paper that was unbranded seemed to bend a little bit more under its own weight, so I don't know if that really makes a difference to you, but if you like slightly heavier papers, maybe you would want to go with Printique or Darkroom. So let's talk about price. Price was kind of an interesting factor with this test, um, and all of these options did not have free shipping because I was just ordering one print. I think if you order a certain amount um, from each of these, they will offer you free shipping, but shipping is included in the prices that I'm about to list. So Darkroom was the cheapest overall at $10.99, Printique came in second at $12.06, and MPix came in at $15.79. Now this was just for 8x12 prints. If you're looking at 8x12s, Darkroom is going to be the least expensive, especially if you're ordering your own prints, um, because they will sell them to you at cost. Um, but if you look at other sizes, it looks like Printique is significantly cheaper um, when you start going bigger. So that kind of might be something that you could use to your advantage if you're looking at printing bigger than 8x12. But if you're sticking at 8x12 just for a couple prints that you want to make of your own work, um, Darkroom's probably going to be the cheapest. So now that I've done this test, what do I think of each of these services and their prints? Um, well, I've got a few thoughts. So I think if you're just making prints for yourself and your family, Probably go with Printique because it's the cheapest and the colors I think are the most pleasing overall. I think if you're wanting to start selling your prints to any audience you may have, Darkroom Tech definitely has the best service for that because they have their own website where you can set up your individual store and you can add prints to that and they will handle the printing and shipping for a percentage of the sales. I can't speak for everyone here, but maybe if you live in the Midwest and you really want your prints fast and you don't really care about doing splitting hair tests like I just did, I think MPix does just fine. So those are my kind of thoughts on the three different services I tried out. And now that I've done that, I want to make a cool announcement that I'm really excited about. I'm actually starting my own print store and I'm starting this with Darkroom Tech and it if you're watching this video, it's just launched. So go check it out. I've started with, I think, 15 photos that are all kind of nature-y, landscape sort of photos. And they're photos that I've taken on film in either 35 millimeter or 120 film in various states in the United States and various national parks. Also, if you purchase a print, I think this is a great way to support me and my videos. And you actually get something for your money, which I think is important. Also, if you buy a print, make sure to tag me on Instagram or send me an email or something and show me where my picture is living in your life, if it's in your office or if it's at your house or whatever, because I'd love to see where my work ends up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.